holy crap I look exhausted it's also because I am just finished a pool workout and usually around the weekend like Friday or Saturdays is usually when I work and pretty frequently after work we just hang around a bit sometimes drink hang out that kind of stuff right so you're probably shocked like oh my god what the fuck drinking and working out and like all that stuff right because I am a person that is ever since I started working out it has kind of become more and more of a both a priority to me as well as just kind of over time embracing the whole fitness working out and the whole lifestyle that goes along with it right and I would say about a year ago I was very extreme with it to the point where I was just solely only focused on that and didn't really want to make any compromises with it in exchange for hanging out with friends um, drinking like that, that, that kind of stuff right like I basically had no balance between working out and kind of living a life outside of that whole working out lifestyle bubble and I guess at some point it just kind of took its toll on me and I kind of realized that partly because of that you know it yes I love working out and I really do enjoy it otherwise I wouldn't still be doing it after nearly four years right I enjoy the whole process the whole journey everything around it but I feel like that is not all there is to life right and that's partly the reason why I kind of made a conscious decision in my mind to give myself one day a week where I'm just kind of like wouldn't consider it a cheat day but like if I do decide to like oh we're gonna go out party drink or whatever I just give myself one day a week to like allow myself to do that and kind of just live life right because I was way too extreme with it and I am I would still consider myself pretty extreme when it comes to everything surrounding working out and fitness but again I feel like I needed to find a better balance with it and I feel like this compromise that I've made for myself kind of just giving myself one day a week is working out pretty well yes it does come at the cost of sometimes you know having to either like today for example just not having necessarily like a hundred percent the best workout because last night I don't know I got home at like four I, I was still like doing extreme shit afterwards because I still went to like eat uh, because I felt like I didn't eat enough the whole day so I still ate after going out and drinking and stuff so I still did that part had pretty crappy sleep but you know um, for me out of my own personal experience one night of bad sleep doesn't necessarily ruin the performance of my workout that much it's only when it's multiple nights of bad sleep in a row where I feel like it's affecting my performance in the gym so again like I think I slept like five hours which is terrible but you know like it it doesn't didn't ruin the workout today per se so um, yeah um, today's workout just I took it a little bit lighter than usual it was my snatch grip snatch grip deadlift day so normally I think the highest I've done is 115 kilos for six reps today I just kind of decided to uh, do a bit lighter really focus on form and you know feeling the contraction muscles all that stuff right and yeah did 100 kilos for six reps three sets of that and felt pretty good kind of had to rush my workout because got home late slept late um, gyms close at 4 p.m. in the weekend here so I basically got at the gym at like 3 p.m. so I had an hour to do all my stuff which normally would take me at least an hour and a half so I didn't do all of my bicep uh, isolation exercises I managed to squeeze in all the back ones though so I'm happy with that I might just do some extra ba uh, bicep sets tomorrow on leg day so yeah it all in all it's fine right like considering the fact that it's it's a weekend day and then everything that happened the night before I feel like the way that I usually approach these kinds of days or rather the next day after going out or drinking is I just assess like after waking up and I think I usually just do I wake up I do my usual morning routine and then kind of based on how I feel after that assess like do I think it's going to be a productive workout day if so I will go and if I do think that it's a productive workout day or is going to be is it going to be like as usual or do I just kind of 
do like one notch lower like 90 percent 80 to 90 percent of my usual weight or something and really focus more on form and all that stuff like those are the kind of compromises that i then decide to make if i just feel that it's not going to be the perfect workout day but i still feel like i need to go for consistency sake for routine sake all that stuff so yeah today was just one of those days where it's not that i'm forcing myself to go because i feel like i do have good discipline when it comes to that where i feel like okay this is really like i i don't want to push and force myself to go to the gym at the cost of potentially injuring myself right like i always try to approach that in a smart way where i think in long terms of like if i like it doesn't make any sense in my mind to force myself to go to the gym when i feel like it's going to be a crappy workout and i could potentially injure myself and then because i forced myself to go that one day that because of that i can't go like the next two weeks because i just happen to force an injury for example right so i do try to always approach that in a smart way whereas i just think long term long picture and even taking an extra rest day here and there it's sometimes necessary if you're trying to live life outside of this whole working out bubble and stuff it's probably someone that injured themselves in the gym just now but that's the way that i approached the workout today and with that mindset i felt like today was a pretty good and productive uh workout day so yeah it's the weekend i don't have i finished all of my work days for this week just gonna relax today eat definitely gonna take a nap because i feel like i usually when i don't sleep that well the night prior i will just try and squeeze in like an hour hour and a half nap during the day so that i still am able to kind of catch up on my sleep because i, I on average i would like to sleep let's say eight hours a day right it doesn't happen over the, over the course of a week sometimes you just have a 10 hour day sleep right and something sometimes seven hours for example right as long as i kind of average throughout the week eight hours then i feel like i've always had plenty of rest to both recover from the gym and be able to um feel well rested enough to tackle the next workout so sleep is definitely what i'm gonna prioritize today